uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, the failure to provide adequate park and ride facilities at suburban rail stations is a significant impediment to encouraging greater use of public transport by Brisbane commuters. Unfortunately, the Bly government continues to fail Brisbane commuters on this key area, especially in my electorate of Indrapilly. The $26.5 million upgrade at the Indrapilly railway station last year has become infamous as a monument to poor planning. Despite it being the busiest station outside the CBD, the upgrade failed to provide any park and ride facilities. Many commuters were baffled by this bizarre decision. The lack of park and ride forces many potential users of the train to stay in their cars and add to the congestion on the roads as they head into the city for work. And local residents near the station are left to cope with their streets being parked out by these commuters who decide to persist with train travel. This is not a problem confined to the Indrapilly station. The Turinga, Chelmer, Graceville and Sherwood stations in my electorate all lack or have inadequate park and ride facilities. But if you're looking for the Bly government to provide any more park and ride spaces at these stations, forget it, because the Bly government has ruled it out. In response to a question I noticed from me, the Transport Minister said there will be no more park and ride spaces at these stations. The Minister said the Labor government's park and ride policy does not support expanding or developing new park and ride facilities in locations within 10 kilometres of the Brisbane CBD. So no park and ride at Indrapilly, none at Graceville, no more at Turinga, Chelmer or Sherwood. So now we know why the Bly government spent $26.5 million on the Indrapilly station upgrade and built no park and ride. It wasn't a stupid oversight, it was a stupid policy. Not only is this a slap in the face to those commuters who use these stations, it is a disincentive to those looking to get out of their cars and use public transport. As a regular user of public transport, including to get to Parliament today, I know not everyone lives within walking distance of a train station. We need to provide the incentives to encourage as many people as possible to use public transport. That means providing trains that are frequent, that are on time, that are not overcrowded and that are accessible. And that includes adequate park and ride facilities. Unfortunately, the Bly government is not committed to encouraging the use of public transport with adequate park and ride facilities. The Bly government is not serious about public transport and has let down Brisbane commuters. I urge the minister to review this policy. Call the